Hello everyone. Today we continue our lecture on cyber attacks. Keywords phishing attacks, password attacks, SQL injection attacks, social engineering, zero day attacks. Phishing attacks. Phishing is a type of social engineering attack often used to steal user data, including login credentials and credit card numbers. It occurs when an attack masquerading as a trusted entity into opening an email, instant message, or text message. In a phishing attack, hackers disguise the phishing attack as unsuspecting, posing as legitimate and known services. From these emails, hackers take users to fake login pages disguised as a legitimate service. Often, part a subtle threatening dimension to the emails like the prospect of service cancellation. This forces the users to hand over the credential before giving it careful consideration. Uh, for example, about phishing attack, how long in 2019, 210 clients of the Halop Bank became victims of hacker. The hacker group attacked on the clients of the Halop Bank service, homebank.kz. People became victims of cyber after they entered the fake homiebank.com resource and uh, handed over 228 passwords to attackers. For example, phishing sites homiebank.com, homiebank.com, homiebank.com you can know more information from these sites. Banker.kz Password, att Password attacks are one of the most common forms of corporate and personal data breach. A password attack is simply when a hacker tries to steal your password. In 2020, 81% <clears throat> of data breaches were due to compromised credentials. Because passwords can only contain so many numbers, passwords are becoming less safe. Hackers know that many passwords are poorly designed, so password attacks will remain a method of attack as long as passwords are being used. Type of password attacks, brute force attack, dictionary attack, uh, about brute force attack. A hacker uses a computer program to log into a user's account with uh, all possible password combinations. Moreover, brute force accounts don't start uh, at random. Instead, they start easiest to guess passwords. Dictionary attacks. Uh, dictionary attacks only tries possibilities of passwords most likely to 
succeed whereas brute force attacks goes letter by letter as signifies it takes a common dictionary words to decode a password like January 2020 or April at 2020 SQL injection SQL injection attacks consist of insertion or injection of a SQL query via the input data from the client to the application. A successful SQL injection exploit can read sensitive data from the database. Modify database data. Insert, update, delete, execute administration or operation on the database, such as shut down the DBMS content of a given file present on the DBMS file system and in some cases issue commands to the operating system. SQL injection attacks are a type of injection attack in which SQL commands are injected into data plane input in order to affect the execution of predefined commands. Social engineering. Social engineering attacks usually exploit human psychology and susceptibility to manipulation to trick victims into uncovering sensitive data or breaking security measures that will allow, allow an attacker access to the network. Something that makes social engineering attacks one of the most dangerous types of network threats is the general lack of cybersecurity culture. Organization employees are the first line of defense and they are all too frequently the weakest link. So much so that all it takes is one employee clicking on a suspicious link link to cost the cost the cost expense of thousands of Zero day exploit. A zero day exploit hits after a network is announced, but before a patch or solution is implemented. Attackers target the disclosed vulnerability during this window of time. Zero day vulnerability threat detection requires constant. Zero day exploit hits after a network vulnerability is announced, but before a patch or solution is implemented. Attackers target the disclosed vulnerability during this window of time. Zero day vulnerability threat detection requires constant awareness. A zero day attack happens when that flow both way exploited and attackers release malware before developer has an opportunity to create a patch to fix vulnerability hence zero day here here's a quick timeline to explain the process uh, companies developers create software that unknowingly contains a vulnerability the threat actors spots that vulnerability either before the 
have a doubt or act on it before the developer has a chance to fix it. The attacker, right, attacker writes and implements exploit code while the one is still open and available. After releasing the exploit, either the public recognizes it in the form identity or information theft of the developer catches it and creates a patch of to staunch cyber bleeding. Once a patch is written and used, it is no longer called as a red. A zero day exploit. These attacks are rarely discovered right away, and that is why it's important to ensure that your business is protected. Um, unknown attacks. There are most known attacks here. But there are many attacks that we don't know about yet. For example, JSM attacks, um, capture mobile phone call from other country or remote location, or attacks on satellites, space wars, etc. Uh, but these attacks will become known soon or in the distant features, distant future. Okay. На этом мы завершаем uh, лекцию о сайбератак. Mm. Как мы на первой, на предыдущей лекции рассказывали о Наиболее частых атаках, дос атаках. И сегодня то, что мы рассказали, это вот наиболее часто встречающиеся атаки. Есть, конечно, вот в конце прочитал неизвестные нам атаки, которые станут немного через несколько лет, возможно, может быть, через десятилетия. Но они существуют. Например, GSM атаки они существуют. Никто официально не признает это. Мы пользуемся сотовыми сетями. Думаем, что безопасно на самом деле. Есть риски. Также государство сейчас защищать свои уже космические спутники, поскольку уже разрабатываются атаки, атаки сервисы, то есть не напрямую, а через вот так. На этом все, то есть. Я... Сейчас выложу.